Lady Loretta is, uh, is a Glencore operation. Redpath were fortunate to, uh, to get the contract. The infrastructure is already in place. Um, so, so it's quite a different role for a contractor to be able to do that. Lady Loretta is probably our, our biggest whole of mine contract that we've taken on in a lot of years. We do everything up to the crushing and loading into the road trains to go back into Mount Isa. Being a, a, essentially a life of mine contract, which in this case is, is six years, it was an opportunity to bring in some cutting edge technologies and engage them right from the start to, uh, to keep the costs and productivity as, uh, as good as we can get them. The main criteria was that we'd have a reliable fleet. Most importantly is that uh, we're getting the productivity we need out of the, the equipment and when we go to start it and use it that it goes to work and does its job and finishes the shift. The Sandvik uh, drill machines are good. Um, they're, they're not overly complex, the backup's good. Uh, we've, we've had a very good run out of the jumbo since they've been here. From day one we've consistently exceeded expectations uh, uh, that we had. The, um, we've, we've been consistently over 400 uh, metres really using the one jumbo. The, the 621, I think in a, in a lot of people's eyes at the moment, is probably uh, the loader to be, uh, to be using in the bigger operations. It's a big machine, it's a very productive machine, a very comfortable machine for operators and then having the, the auto mine on top of that just means it really sells itself in many ways. I really like the power of these machines. I think they're a lot more comfortable machine to ride in, pretty operator friendly. Oh, the good thing about tele remote is it keeps everyone safe, you know, it's the best bit of it. Like the motivation was really to pick up that productivity that we lose over a shift change. We can pick up to a couple of hours a day in productivity. And the other thing about this auto mine is that, is that it does the same thing time and time and time again without banging the walls. It really does just run the perfect line each time. Once we set up, I go and pick up a bucket, tram it back to the slope, press it on auto, halfway along it gives me a signal and it takes it to the, to the stockpile and then I take over and tip it and repeat. I like the mapping side of it. It can show you where you are on a slope if you get out there and if there's a bit of a dust around you can get half lost and you're sort of not sure where you are. With the uh, auto mine at least you can um, see where you are, you know where the walls are and you know your angle. You've got a level in there and you can go, oh. I'm about to tip over or you can correct yourself, so that's good.